Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves. The only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. Not go shouting in the middle of the bazaar. They surprised me. How was I supposed to know they had ears? Don't make me laugh. Then why didn't you do it yourself? Because I asked you to. What am I going to tell my mother now?
ahead. Here I go. Duck. You're mine. I've got you. Choke on this, asshole. Eat this, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't like the look of that. You believe this? Is that? Gonna come here, Mom. No! Guess it was nothing after all. Blanch the asparagus, fry the onion until translucent. Of course, we don't have any of these. So we'll just eat what we got. You there? Killian! 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 It's Aiden!
There's Hakon. Back then, everyone must have thought BFFs forever. Bingo. Alberto, I have your fertilizer. It's Vincenzo. Vincenzo? I, I can barely hear you. The BKs, they raided my place. I can't talk. The traitor, he sold us all out. Hayden, Dad, went ahead to the windmill. Meet him there. I'll meet you when I can. Just make sure that fertilizer gets to my dad. Okay, I'll do my best. Just come quick. Think that's a good idea? We have no choice, Aiden. Hurry, please. Do you know how I know? Aiden, tell me. This plan means everything to my dad. I don't know if you noticed, but dad's kind of awkward and unappreciated. This is a chance to show Carl, Sophie, everyone at the bazaar that they were wrong. What dad's made of, what he can do. He'll be the hero of the bazaar after this one. He always wanted to do something big. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. I'll stay with you on the radio. Hello? Vincenzo? Hello? Once upon a time, people only had bows, arrows, and spears. And they managed to survive. Is that why we'll survive too? <laughs> about rats. Oh, not Chiara. Aiden! Get in! Vincenzo, I... I can't hear you. No, working. You have to... What? Yeah. What do I have to do? Get in there. Stop him. Fertilizer. Are you sure you got this? Of course I'm sure. And if I don't know something, I can ask Vincenzo. Ah, the windmill's causing too much interference. The radio doesn't work. Ah. Then I'll figure it out myself. It's as easy as I. And you're certain? He explained everything to me. We'll do... Me and you will do... <laughs> no reason we won't do just... Fine. Like I said, easy as pie. The bombs are ready. You're up. Take the charges and secure them to the spots Vincenzo marked for us. Planting bombs. <sighs> what could go wrong? Easy as pie, right? Yes, precisely. Like I said, easy as pie. The bombs are ready. Aiden. We need to see the plan through to the end. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to 
introduce Eugene Kirkland, chairman of the Dynamo Cars Electric Car Factory Workers Union. Employees of Dynamo Cars. As you all know, the Council of Mankind issued a decree today allowing military to seize the factory. I'm sure many of you are concerned. It's only natural. Dynamo Cars is our home. It allows us to provide a home for our families. But today's action serves a greater good. A higher purpose. A higher purpose for us all, upon which the very future of mankind depends. In a time when darkness has fallen suddenly upon us, we have the power to cast a ray of hope. God willing, with your courage, you will make this your home again as it becomes a solar plant, providing the power that will reshape the city around us. I know what I'm asking of you, but as we think of you continuing to provide you work, you think of how you will serve your neighbors as you adapt to these important changes. It is time to make history. All of humanity is watching us. Let's get to work. Threat identified here. Stand by. <coughs> Anyone else here? And who do we have here? <coughs> Take this! 
Huh? Explosives are in place. Time for the fireworks. Would you like the honors? Sure. This should be fun. Mm -hmm. The detonator isn't triggering. Must be interference from the windmill. It doesn't look like that did much. Windmill's still standing. I mean, the rotor's still spinning. Uh. Vincenzo's calculations. They must be off. I'll have it fixed in a flash. Gotta see this through. My... What are you doing? An armed bomb? Before the PKs get here. Giving you an armed... Um, uh, uh, armed... Uh, uh. We can't rely on radio detonation. Not with all the interference. What now? This one is guaranteed to blow up the whole windmill. All right, how much time do I have? Let me count. It'll blow any second! Run! But... Where am I supposed to put it? Where? You have to go back! And? And plant it on... Uh, place it on... Put it on... The... To where? Damn it, toss it in the fucking river? Such language! Why so nervous? Right in the middle of the windmill? I can finish my own sentences. Thank you very much. On the rota. You have to climb up to the rota. To the very top? You serious? The bomb's ticking, Aiden. You really think we have time for jokes? Faster. Go on.
Oh, come on. Faster. Go on. <sighs> Hello? Hey, Alberto? Hey, Don! Hey, guys! I'm coming! You sons of bitches! What have you done to him? Stay put, you... You won't escape! you, the windmill would still be standing. Almost like the fireworks in 90... Uh, 90... Uh, even... Ah, oh, man. I'm old. And you'll just keep getting older. Quit the bullshit, Aiden. I'm not that adult. Thanks for helping me. <laughs> I know what they think of me. Of course I know. <laughs> Tell everyone we pulled this off thanks to Vincenzo. Okay. <laughs> That's thanks to you, Alberto. No. Thanks to a Vincenzo, okay? They laugh at him. Laugh because of me. <laughs> but now that we've done this, they won't laugh anymore. See, he's, he's old man's, huh? Eh? Not a cook or a, or a failure anymore. Force the peacekeepers to withdraw. Say it was him. Promise me. All right. Okay. Oh, and tell him. Tell him that... That's okay. I'll tell him. That I'm proud. Never told him that. Son, 
I'm proud of you. I'll tell him for you. I promise. Fireworks show you put on. Now it's time to blow this popsicle stand. I can't. One thing I still have to take care of. You don't get it. There's no time to waste. We can make our way to the center now. Everyone's too busy to notice. I promised Alberto I'd tell his son something for him. Do you want to finish your business or play shepherd spreading the good word? Well, it's bad news, Hakan. Alberto is dead. I see. But the metro is empty. There might never be another chance like this. Are you sure? I have to go find Vincenzo, Hakon. I promised. A night fucking errand. Hurry! Remember Sarah and Yana. Find me at their place when you're done. If you're still alive. Ah, oh, 
take this. Thank you for coming to my rescue. So it was Carl who betrayed them. I hate it when I get through an and I call that a wrap. All cleaned up. Didn't put up much of a fight. Yeah, because they're cowards. Told you before. What about the prisoners? Throw them in the dungeon? Unless you feel like banging them first. Look. It's Chubbs. They killed Chubbs? Looks like it. But only him, I think. We gotta tell Anderson. Yeah, but where is she? Should have been here ages ago. I'll look for her. Hope we see some action soon. The Butch is our greatest enemy. He's responsible for... <laughs> <laughs> Keep your head on a swivel, soldier. We got Z's in the hood. I got your six. Move on, soldier. Pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs>
which is our greatest enemy. She's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million people. Those renegades scared the shit out of me. Wonder if my family's mail has finally arrived. I thought it was over, man. I can't believe Carl betrayed us. Fuck, Pilgrim. At first I thought you gave us up. But Carl... If it wasn't for him, the Peacekeepers wouldn't have attacked. But he fled right after the blast. There are more on the upper level. Okay, I'll go there. You run. Jack Matt deals with these damn renegades. Don't want my name ending up in some memorial Catch down in the stealing, streets. You lose a hand, pal. No order without strict laws. Hilkrim, you made a fool of us. Matt just wasted his time on you. Now get out of my face. Hey. Aiden. Yeah, don't be scared. It's safe now. Thank you. Hey, Sophie. So where's Vincenzo? Aiden, watch out! Aiden's gonna pay me hella gold for you! Run! Shit! Guy wasn't even worth a golden shower. Get up, Aiden. Thanks, man. That makes us even. It's not over yet. Aiden! Aiden! Come on, Whoa. coward! Come down and fight! You better get out of here, Anderson. You're on bizarre turf. Look, tell Ader there's still time to call this off. Why would he do that? We're winning. You're stupider than I thought. Come down and fight, and stop using your bizarre buddies as human shields. Aiden, no! Left his flashlight on. <laughs> Ready to die? I to say hello. I'm gonna kill you and torch this place. I'm gonna cut your throat. Die, fuck buddy of the bazaar. The bazaar will fall. Have a light. 
attacked you from the start. Stop. Aiden, we have reports that Aider's men are retreating. The plan worked. We took out their lights and the infected tore them to pieces. They don't stand a chance without them. Ader withdrew his men. They're in the metro tunnels. We're not getting to the center that way. Carl betrayed us. He's the one who went to the peacekeepers and warned them. Claimed he wanted to prevent bloodshed, but made things worse. But now, I run the bazaar. And I promise, we will defeat Ador. And I will take you to the central loop. Sophie runs the bazaar! For Sophie! <laughs> They know how many PK creeps it takes to screw in a light bulb? None, because they're too dead to screw anything. <laughs> Alberto's dead. <laughs> Don't be a buzzkill, Aiden. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. He was killed taking down the windmill. How'd it happen? We put Vincenzo's plan into motion, but then Alberto had to go in his son's place. Sacrificed himself to blow up the windmill. Fuck me. To Alberto! To Alberto! So, where's Vincenzo? He's outside. Look around. Vincenzo. <laughs> we did it, Aiden. My dad, he really did it. Your father wanted me to tell you, um, he's always been proud of you. Very proud. What? Why are you telling me this and not him? He died, Vincenzo. Died for the bazaar. Was he in pain when he died? No, he was all smiles. Because of you. And because he was able to carry out your plan. Thanks for being there with him, Aiden. Your dad kicked ass, Vincenzo. Yeah, Alberto's all right. Hell of a craftsman. For a loser, you mean. For a failure. That's what you used to say. If only we had more like Alberto, the PKs would have been gone ages ago. You... Go in and check on Vincenzo. Now! You did a freaking awesome job, Aiden. We'll beat the PK and we'll help you get to the center. You're one of us now, brother. You're part of the Bazaar family. Thanks, Barney. Good luck. Good luck, Pilgrim. Hey, Akon. Where are you? I'm waiting for you at the girl's place. You better hurry, Aiden. The passage to the center, it's blocked. I have another idea. Just come quickly. Time is not on our side. Okay, I'm coming. Looks like you turned out not to be such a prick after. Yeah. <sighs> 
Who could have expected it? A fucking pilgrim. Brand new shipment!
out of the old town. For you, motherfucker. I checked the fucking valve train already. When we're on a break here, I see all these miserable faces and I think nobody loves themselves anymore. Nobody? Ever again? That sounds a bit extreme. Well, you think so? What do you think is the first step in loving yourself? You seem to know the answer. Why don't you tell me? Flowers. Flowers. Precisely. Nowadays, I'm hanging around near the metro station in considerable safety and all. But before I joined the PKs, I used to live down in Trinity. I had a shop there, the Blooming Tulip, near the bazaar when it was still the Church of the Holy Trinity. I was raised in an orphanage among a multitude of apathetic people. <laughs> Maybe that's why I turned to flowers. But after the outbreak, people stopped buying them. Well, that's understandable. Certainly, but... Uh, there was this old lady. I basically kept the store open just for her. She'd come every day, as if nothing had changed. Her visits <laughs> were the highlight of my day. Until one day she didn't show. What happened to her? Her flowers ate her alive. How should I know? I was growing these special pink roses for her. It was her last order, and I simply couldn't throw them all away. So I kept one of the roses and dried it, just for her. She'd be delighted to know that you never forgot her. Yeah. If only I could get that rose to her. Could you take it? She never said where she lived precisely, but I asked her once where she kept all her flowers. She said, in a beautiful house made of glass, where the old mound used to be. Here, take the rose. Please find the house and give it to her, if she's still there. Yeah. <sighs> 
Hakon. Ah, you're finally here. Let's go. When Yana heard you were coming, she grabbed Sarah and they left. Seems they weren't too fond of you. Then where are we at? Ah, what? Fucking hell. Ah. Calm down. Just let me see. Let me see. Ah, I'll help. Fuck. Wait. I'll help. Ah. Show me. Relax. You're gonna pull through. What's that? The wound from the Lazarus? You say you killed Lucas. If not for those brass knuckles, it would only took a few seconds to do the job. Ah, I thought he was a better fighter. Ah, the fuck are you saying? Ah, no point denying it with this wound, right? So you carved ah. out his tattoo and planted it on Barney. Ah, Waltz, he ordered the kill. You're working with Waltz and you didn't tell me? You piece of shit. Oh, you don't get it, kid. Waltz would have killed me, you see, like he killed Dylan. And anyone who defies him. I have to get out of here, get it? I couldn't have told you. Why? You know he's the one who tortured me in the past. I didn't tell you in order to protect you. So what if you find out something about your sister? Waltz will kill you. Where is he? Ah, fuck. Where is Waltz? Supposed to meet him under the electric car factory in the GRE tunnel. Hey, then I'm fucking dead here, understand? They're gonna kill me. You'd leave me. You'd leave me now. I should leave you to die for what you did. Why wouldn't you? I'm gonna find that sniper first. Ah. <sighs> really? You do that for me? A life for a life. After that, we're fucking done.
see that goddamn sniper? No, nothing. Use your binoculars. Shut up. I'm done listening to your sage advice. I know, I fucked up. Let's leave it at that. Those bolts fly far and fast. Find something to hide behind. Tell me something I don't already know, Hakon. Watch out for all the chemical waste. I got eyes, Hakon. <laughs> Fuck! I can't, I'm a shit duck. Run, boy! Run! That prick's got an eagle eye. I see him, Aiden. He's sticking to the roofs. Go! Ugh! <laughs> 
Drop the ladder. Well, so much for surprise. We figure something out. Still in one piece? <clears throat> for now, yes. I gotta get behind him somehow. Like that. Who else wants to kill you, Hakon? Ader? The, uh, the PKs? I lost track ages ago. Got you, fucker. What? Davis! Why are you protecting that asshole? Who sent you? Fucking Santa Claus. This has nothing to do with you. You gotta pick your friends better. Why are you hunting Hakon? Uh, is this about killing Lucas, sir? Tell Hakon that it's not over I, yet. Hey, hey, wait, hey, 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 wait, 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 wait! Ah. Hakon, you still alive? Uh, my meter's still running. Hakon, yeah, she got away. But you're safe. For now. There's a woman. Fuck. Yeah, and I don't think she likes you. That sounded personal. Personal, huh? Doesn't usually narrow it down. But I know who it is. Watch out for her, Eden. 
She's one of the most dangerous people you'll ever meet. Yeah, noted. Now I'm going to the central loop. Beware of Waltz, Aiden. Renegades have appeared all over the center, and he's working with them. He's looking for the key you've got. I'm done listening to your advice. Sophie, I'm gonna need your help getting to the center. The guy who was supposed to get me there, he... Well, things got complicated. Ader's men are still... F <laughs> they barricaded themselves inside the tunnel. I can't help you. What about our agreement? <sighs> Relax. Listen, there's another way through. An old tunnel under the hills near the Tango Motel. It was used by smugglers. Peacekeepers didn't even know about it. It's been closed for years. But if you manage to start the generators, you might be able to get to the center. <laughs> and you're telling me this just now. Sorry, Adam. I want to help you. But most of all, I have to help the bazaar. Good luck, Pilgrim. <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> 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 Ugh! <laughs> 